I've been teaching preschool for 15 years now and I'm a mom of five children. I'm going to give you the top five things you should be doing with your child before they go to preschool. And it might not be what you think. Letters and numbers are great, of course, shapes and colors, but not that. Tip number one, give your child experiences. Experiences are how you learn about the world around you. What gives preschoolers the symbolic thought to be able to, to interact with dramatic play when they're playing and pretending, they have to draw from the experiences that they've had in their lives. So take them to the zoo, let them play in the mud, go to a baseball game, anything at all that gets them learning about the world around them. Tip number two, and I'm sure you've heard this before, but this is probably the most important one. Read to your child every night. There's something called the 30 million word gap where children who haven't been read to or haven't had those experiences have heard 30 million less words by the time that they turn four years old. And vocabulary and language are very closely connected with reading and academic success. The importance of talking to your child and reading with them and asking questions when you read cannot be stressed enough. So if, you, if there's only one thing that you do on this list, read to your child every night. Tip number three, let them be bored. It's actually good that you don't entertain your child at all times. This also means limit screen time. So children can be very creative. They can be very imaginative and they need time to learn to self-regulate. Anytime that they're in a car or a restaurant or they're at home bored, they shouldn't be just given a screen. They should start to learn how to play with the things around them. Of course, getting down on the floor and playing with them, that is awesome and wonderful. It's okay to let them be bored and try to figure it out. Um, this is about the age that they can do that. Number four, this one might be a tough one. Tell your child no and give them consequences. It's fairly obvious to me when I have a child that comes in um, that maybe has not been told no or not had a consequence in their life because they come in thinking that this is their show. They can do what they want, take the toys that they want, they can go where they want, when they want, um, and they're very hard to teach. Now yes, preschool age students are very me focused and that's not what I'm talking about. But when a child's coming into my class where there are 22 students, you do have to know that you're not going to get everything that you want. That sometimes you have to wait, sometimes you have to share, sometimes you might think it's not fair and you can't throw a tantrum over it. Personally, I hate that the word no is being taken out of our vocabulary. Now, yes, I understand that you don't wanna be saying no, no, no all day long, but it's okay, some things are a no. So for an example, if your child is at home and they're throwing a fit because they want to use their tablet, don't give them their tablet. Take it away for the day. That's an example of a consequence that will match the action. Tip number five is all about fine motor. Those are the small muscles in your hands. And before a child learns how to write, they have to strengthen those muscles. So my favorite fine motor activity is actually Play-Doh. So anytime that you can get out Play-Doh and they're squishing and squeezing and rolling it out, that's fantastic. It can be things like learning how to use scissors, hole punches, stickers, so stickers are great. Anything that they're using their pincher grasp for young children, so you know, one to two year olds, if you're taking a ball and putting it into a hole, um, once you get older, they can start using the kids tweezers and moving things over. You can put Cheerios over top of a noodle, you can string beads. If you want to buy something, uh, my favorite is called TheraPutty, and it's really strong putty. I tell my students, I'm like, when I put this out, it means really helping your hands to get stronger. So they love doing it because they're stretching it and squishing it, and they know that that's making their hands stronger. So anything you can do to help strengthen those small muscles in their hands would be very helpful.